Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this week I'm filming the April the 8th to the 14th. Um, I'm using a Scribble Prints Co kit, but before we get into that, I'm just going to go back to last week, the week I didn't film. Um, it will be up on my Instagram, of course, but I'm just going to sort of go through like the spread a little bit. Um, this is a Scribble Prints Co kit from last year. Um, I used some foil overlays from myself, Caress Press, and, Cof and um, myself, Caress Press, and Rose Coloured Days. I used some Simply Gilded Washi. I used some Fox and Cactus um, things and some Made by Alyssa stuff. I used a Once More with Love. And Payday was from Blackbird Print Co. And this little sidebar one here that was myself and that was luscious labels um this was luscious labels this was frank hearts you that was coffee monsters co there's another coffee monsters co one down here and then we move on to the weekend i didn't film i'm filming um this plan with me on monday so i didn't get to film my plan with me yet <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is sort of my last week spread. Well, that's not going to pick up yet, this one. I'm talking about this one here. There we go. So, yeah, um, I've got, I, I also, um, redid my desk, so. Anyway, we'll go through this week's kit. Um, there's my all to do list. So I'm using another Scribble Prints Co kit. This was a mystery kit from last year. Um, this was like another Hello like Autumn or Fall kit, whatever you want to call it. This was like an Apple Yard one. I'm just going to like try and pull out all the extras that came with it. Um, I'm subscribed to the Ultimate Kit. So there's your full boxes. Um, this is like the newer format ultimate kit. This isn't the current one, um, but this was the newer format and I haven't worked with an ultimate kit in a long time. So this is going to be like a challenge for me. Um, and I just want to apologize in advance if there's any sort of jump cuts. I am like cooking, um, passata at the same time. So for those who don't know what passata is, it's like a slow cooked Italian, um, like salt, like, um, tomato so pasta sauce. Um, and then like you slow cook it over like several hours. I started cooking it about an hour and a half ago. For those who are wondering what time it is, it is 7.30 a.m. <laughs> I did start it at 6 a.m. Um, and it just needs stirring every 10 minutes or so, so it doesn't stick. Um, all right, and the extras for this month were the little kids eating apples, the glitter headers, the little munchkins, the bows, the foil overlays, and this bottom washi strip, and like the fashion girls. So there's heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps to work with here. So I'm like overwhelmed to the T. Um, so I'm probably going to like jump every 10 minutes or so and just go check on that just so it doesn't burn. Cause like there's three bottles. There's just a, just on two and a half liters worth of stuff in the pot at the moment. So I'm gonna work with this like um, bottom washi here, um, just because I can really. Um, yeah. So back on the whole rearranging my desk thing, I um got a rascog finally on the weekend. Um, everybody's like, what? But yeah, no, I finally got one on the weekend. So. It's taken me a while, I know, but they aren't as cheap in Australia as they are overseas. They've only just come down to the $49 price point here. So I'm just going to look at like the patterns here and figure out which ones I want to use. I think I'm going to go with just the plain hearts. Do I want to overlay it or do I just want to... I don't know. No, I think I'm just going to lay it down. I'm going to do this side first because it's the size of it. Um, the bigger side, obviously. Um, 
Yeah, so I finally got one of those for myself. Um, and now they come with like the lids, like the um, chopping board lids. For those who are wondering, like this is actually like a clear sticker. These are quite an old product. She doesn't actually sell these. I think this was just like a trial for the sub box. Um, I'm going to take this bow off as well. So yeah, I also only have about half an hour before I have to make a phone call. So this is going to be a jumpy video. I do apologize so much. Yeah, so they come with the chopping board lids now, which is actually kind of cool. So I've just sort of got one. I sort of grabbed everything for the, I just sort of decked it out. I grabbed the pots for the slide. I grabbed sort of um, everything. I thought I'm here because Ikea is like three hours from my house. So I just sort of thought I'd grab everything at once. So I rearranged my desk, took a heap of stuff off it, which is kind of nice. So I have room to grow. Not that I really feel like growing. I actually spent the weekend like decluttering. <laughs> and conmarrying my bedroom. Well, I wouldn't say like really conmarrying my bedroom. I just sort of grabbed some um, more of my favorite sort of storage containers for the wardrobe, um, the little like packing cubes and um, refolded some of my clothes, which was kind of nice. Actually, that's what I was halfway through doing and I got distracted. Oops. I haven't touched my fiance's side of the wardrobe because we all know he will just freak at the thought of that. What is on that? Oh, that. Oh. Um, so I just thought I'll refold my wardrobe. Just my folded side, not my hanging side. We're not even going to touch that yet. Um, this is a tiny bit too long, so I'm just going to trim it. And I'm keeping an eye on the time. Sorry, I just don't want to let this sauce burn because there's like, like I said, there's quite a bit in the pot. I have been having trouble with it all morning, just getting it to settle on a simmer. So I'm just going to put that there. What do we think? Oh, look, it's different. And I just, yeah, it's different. I'm just going to roll with it. I don't dislike it. It's just different. I'm just going to try to be different every now and again. Um, yeah, so I've been decluttering and sorting out my life. No, it's been nice and we've just been doing a heap of wedding stuff and by wedding stuff I mean like organizing and did I tell you did I spill the tea about my wedding okay so I had a massive bridezilla moment probably nearly two weeks ago now I don't think I have spilled tea okay so big tea moment coming up in a minute I'm just gonna lay this down um, I'm gonna like stop filming for a sec and then I will be back I'm gonna go stir and then I'll spill some tea okay stirred so tea moment um we had this venue booked for almost two years for our ceremony right we're having our ceremony and our reception in two different locations and we get like an, a phone call saying that our ceremony location has had their functions license suspended until further notice due to like some ongoing like investigations in regards to like the like usage of their venue for functions because it's a winery like they like their cellar door like is no longer having functions <laughs> and I'm like excuse me what <laughs> we've had this booking for nearly two years and you're now just telling me six months from my wedding that I can no longer have my freaking wedding there because you, you can't have functions anymore <laughs> like yeah we're really sorry like it's actually in like um the, like tribunal for like basically like it's in like civil court for businesses in in that state and I'm like excuse me what <laughs> so I was like once I got over the shock I was like okay well shit so I rang my fiance I'm like explained what was going on and he like lost his shit too he was annoyed to say the least and then I spoke to my mom who was also really annoyed she was gutted as well like gutted is an understatement and then we're like well what are we gonna do like where are we gonna go like six months out in a small town like there aren't many options left 
so we um, scrambled really quickly and thought well where's the location that we like that will work and everything like that and so we did the ring around got laughed at several times by the way <laughs> laughed at <laughs> and um, then we found a place that wasn't ridiculously expensive that was willing to work with us on such short notice and it actually wound up being the place that I am getting ready at so it actually works out in our favor in the long run and they were like yep sure no worries like happy to like because they don't have another function booked in but they are booked out so they just their accommodation is booked out so my accommodation is fine but their accommodation is booked out so we couldn't book extra rooms for the like people to stay there but we could book the function in if that makes sense so crisis over sort of so then I had to ring like all my vendors that were affected by that or well, I didn't ring them I actually just sent them an email so it was in writing so they could refer back to it I'm sorry I didn't mean to bash you guys and they were all like oh my gosh that's the worst news ever I'm like yeah tell me something I don't know um I'm just gonna put my full boxes down by the way I just put my flag up in the corner I'm like yeah I know we're, we're pretty devastated don't remind us um so we've done that and now we're sort of oh yeah sorry I've got a band-aid I've got a paper cut um so now we're like scrambling to basically redecorate a venue um I know it's six months out and it seems like a huge lot of drama but like it's your wedding for crying out loud like yeah so I'm just like no um I'm not we don't go apple picking by the way like in the autumn like or autumn by the way um I mean apple picking does exist but like it's not a hobby that we do um so I'm just like yeah whatever <laughs> so I'm just like yeah cool great <laughs> um and I have an extra box that I'm not normally used to having because I normally use mini kits um so yeah we scrambled for a, a venue And we now have one, which it's completely different. But the cool thing is they're like, well, we can't let you have a function here. My, my old venue, like we can't let you have a function here, but we can let you have your photos here. And I'm like, okay, I'm a little bit happier about this. And they're like, and like, you know, all this kind of thing. I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm a lot happier about this, but I'm still not hundred percent happy. So I'm actually really, really gutted still. <laughs> like really gutted. Cause like other people like, <sighs> Like, you know, I'd had this booking for nearly two years and then all of a sudden to be told, like, you know, like all these plans had been made, like set in place, like, you know, you know, I'd gotten my hopes up because who doesn't when you're planning a wedding in regards to like everything. I think I'm going to put the girl in the middle. You're allowed to get your hopes up when you're planning a wedding, right? You know, you book these things in, you like pay deposits and stuff, you know, you don't expect shit like this to happen, basically. Um, yeah, so that was not fun. So that's a tea on my wedding. <laughs> yeah, great fun. Oh, that's, she's holding a basket there. I don't want to put a basket in a basket together. To put the cider in the crate, I think. So yeah, that was, um, that was not fun. Oh, this isn't cut properly. Yoy. It's alright, I saved it. It's all good. Um, let's say the blade was dying when this was cut somehow. Okay. I'm going to use the quote box as my quote box. Fall breeze and autumn leaves is what it says. Sorry, it took me a hot minute to actually figure that out. I didn't think about that very well when I chose the colour of that box, did I? Oh well. For the flag, I mean. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna do the headers, the glitter headers, wherever I put them, over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change that flag out for like, I almost wanna put the blue in. I almost do wanna put the blue in. Oh, but I had a blue last week, god damn it. <laughs> what about the yellow, the yellow maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I know it just lifted like all that, but I don't care. So 
So yeah, that's the tea. That's a little better. All right, I'm gonna do the glitter headers and then I'll be back. Okay, my glitter headers are done and it's come to that time of year where I have to awkwardly flip the planner so that I can actually like work on it somewhat evenly. And it's still not quite right. See the like awkward flip so that it sits somewhat flat. Okay, I'm gonna go in and do the sidebar now and I don't know where anything is in this kit because it's so big. Alrighty, so how's your week been guys? What have you been up to? So, have you guys seen the um, new Erin Condren like sneak peek? Like what do you think of the pattern? What do you think? I need some um, washi. What do you think about the sneak peek? I actually don't know. I've sort of gravitated towards the black and white just because I find that I can just work with anything. But um, I don't know. Now that I'm sort of running in a Nancy shop, I just, I don't know how I feel. You guys probably can't see what I'm doing. I really need to reach off this tripod. It's not quite in the right spot. Washi. Um. Anyway, have you guys watched Sabrina yet? I have. Um, I'm going to put this week or to do you guys can't see that I'm going to zoom you guys out I'm sorry I use a three heart checklist I like the little three hearts because I can then split it up See what I'm doing. I'm really sorry, guys. I'll show you in just a second. Yep, yeah, so I used Etsy and the last three heart checklist. Oh, it's nice having all those options. Um, yeah, so have you guys watched Sabrina yet? I just started last night and I'm like three or four episodes in and I'm hooked already. It's such a good remake. I'm obsessed. Alrighty, um, let's do my TV shows for the week. Do this still come with heart checklists? Please tell me they still come with heart checklists. You're shitting me. Where are the heart checklists? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was like, what? No way. Like, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> no, they do. It's all good. Um, so apparently Heartland's the only show on today. Like four pair of tweezers in that tub and the ones I wanted were like at the bottom. Um, there's nothing on tomorrow. There's two shows on Wednesday which is New Amsterdam and Schitt's Creek. Um, yeah so I did get a job, a casual job by the way. Um, so I'm admin assisting for the editor of the local wedding magazine which has been great fun so far and Thursday there are two TV shows Wednesday 
Thursday, yeah. Pretty Little Lies and Jane the Virgin. How good has Jane the Virgin been so far, by the way? Ho, ho. Where the fruit cake did that sticker just go? Oh, there. This is what happens when you do shit before you look in the morning, guys. I have had a coffee, trust me. Friday, there are three For the People, Station 19, and Greys. I really need to start watching For the People. I've been downloading it, I just haven't been watching it yet. It's one of those shows I need to be in the mood for, and I haven't been in the mood for it yet. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna go give the pot another stir, and I will be back. Okay. I'm back. I think it was almost starting to burn, so I'm glad I kind of caught it. Um, I'm not going to actually put today's plans in because they're chaos, but I'm just going to chuck payday in on Tuesday because it's Etsy pay on Tuesday. Um, I don't even know how to begin to plan today because it's absolute freaking chaos. I do have a waxing appointment this morning that is like definitely booked in. Um... I'm going to sort of like whack that in first. I have a heap of errands to run, so I'm just going to like, I might put that in like up the top and just be like run errands or something like that. I don't know. I just need like a, I know what sticker I need, so I'm just going to put that in there. Um, I'm just going to use that, this little, that would be my waxing appointment and then I don't know. I just, I'm so busy, I don't know how to mark it. And I haven't got any stickers out. I've got payday on Tuesday and then I've got work. In the morning till like about one o'clock. And then Wednesday I have PT and OT. it and then I think I'm also working Thursday this week as well it hasn't been confirmed yet but I'm gonna put it in anyway I have to collect my fruit and vegetables as well so I'm gonna do that first I'm going to use that doesn't work hmm I think I'm gonna use like this and just cover the book with like a sticker or something. Actually, I'm gonna put it the other way, obviously. Wow, that glitter hat is really crooked. I always have to make a phone call in a second, so it's gonna be a jumpy video, I do apologize. Yeah, like I said, I'll cover this book. Oh my goodness, now it's crooked. Exactly the same spot. I'm so clever. All right, that'll do. I have to go make a phone call, so I don't know when I'll get back to this, but I will be back at some point, guys. So I'll be back soon. All right, I'm back again. I'm sorry about the jump cuts and everything like that, but my to-do list is as long as my arm, and I have a short arm, so that doesn't really make sense. Um, <laughs> I'm all over the joint. I'm sorry. Okay, Thursday's done. Friday. Excuse the sniffles. Like I said, I'm lost with this big kit. Like, I don't know where anything is. I miss the, like, the freebie with, like, the little munchkins and the film playing with me and the, the everything on it. Like... I'm gonna need that. I don't want that. I don't want the sheet with all the kids on it. Like that does nothing for me. I don't need that. I don't need the fashion girls because their faces scare me. I'm done with that. Okay. 
I need the glitter, but that'll be later. I'm, I'm just all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I don't need that sheet either. Okay. We're getting somewhere with the stickers we've got left. Okay. I'm going to put my film edit upload sticker on Sunday morning because my video goes up Sunday and that's just the space I have to put it in. Sorry that didn't make the camera. Okay. I think I'm going to use this like skinny box with a planner in it to mark filming my plan with me. I have to report our earnings for the last time on Friday. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, I officially cycle out as of Friday, which is pretty damn exciting. Um, I just spoke to them on the phone and they're like, yep, if you don't earn any money as of like Friday, if you earn too much money, you officially cycle out. And I'm like, hello freaking Luya. Um, I have new releases scheduled for Friday, but I'm not sure if I want to put them up yet. I've um, going to speak to the printer people in like about an hour and then that'll determine it. I'm going to put it in and see what happens. Um, by now you'll have known whether or not I have new releases up and that is crooked. Crooked. Alrighty, Saturday is blank. Do I want to get hot cross buns? Yeah, possibly. I don't know. I might leave it till next week, the week before. I might leave it till the week before Easter. Like, and get just get heaps. And it's also three weeks to the Brisbane Planner Market, so I might use like a box or some sort and put that down the bottom. I am also still cooking sauce. So I am going to have to keep an eye on that because I nearly burnt it before. Oops. Don't want to do that. Okay. Let's go back to like Monday and try and get my shit sorted. Okay. So I think I know in my head what stickers I want. I just have to find them. So. And that's the challenging thing. Like just sorting out in my mess of a life. Like what stickers I want to get. So. I just want like the Kina Prince like I'm so busy I'm dizzy kind of sticker and I just don't know where like I put it so I'm considering like jumping off camera and like finding it so I'm gonna do that okay I pulled out a few sort of stickers I found the sticker I wanted from Kina Prince it's like this um like computer paperwork going everywhere kind of sticker so I'm going to use that for this morning because this is like literally how I feel right now. Just my life is chaos. All the chores and errands. And then I've got a waxing appointment. So I pulled out these ones more with love, like tweezers. stickers. I'm going to use like the blue one. And then I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to leave the bottom blank because there'll be other stuff to do. Work, payday. I'm going to put a, a um, washing hair sticker in the sidebar because I always mark that in my to-do list. Technically, I've washed my hair for the week, but I mark it in so I remember to do it next week. Um, I need to do some grocery shopping. So I'm going to put the one trip in for my fruit and veg collection. But I also want to go to the butchers at some point. We've been getting our like fruit and veg. Sorry, that was on Thursday. Um... <laughs> And meat like all in one place but like I'm just gonna go pick it up from the butchers because the last little meat we got from them was a bit off like yeah it was off like technically it wasn't supposed to be we just don't think their fridges are quite cold enough so I'm gonna mark going to the butchers on Wednesday I also need to get my nails done at some point so use the shopping cart girl to mark going to the butchers should try and keep these separate from the kit though it's a good idea, right? Um, for work, I did bring out laptop girls, but I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. I might just leave them to the side. I've also bought out um, Countdowns to the Brisbane Planner Markets from Fox and Cactus. I'm just going to pop that in the bottom corner. I have also bought out these like Sanderson-inspired um, stickers from Fox and Cactus to mark watching um, Sabrina because I've been doing that at night time while I've been like doing stuff so I'm going to leave that like to the side so I know to use it. 
Um, I do need to do some designing. So I did bring out like three different like types. So I bought out the white girls, the black haired girls, and the limited edition blue haired girls because there is blue in this kit and I never get to use them. So I am going to use like the the stressed out like frizzled bun girl and put her down the bottom just to mark like designing. Um, and I do want to finish watching Sabrina, so and I thought the purple kind of matches the whole theme of the kit. Why are you not quite in focus, please? There we go. So I think I'm going to grab like the yellow quarter box. And I just put down here that I want to watch some Sabrina, the, the new Sabrina. I'm just going to grab one of these. Put that there. Because I do want to watch Sabrina today. Um, I need some other like foil stickers. Oh, don't fall over, please. Please don't fall over. Stop it. Oh. Okay. Does anybody else talk to their inanimate objects or is it just me? I'm going to put a bow in the top corner or I want to put flags. I don't know. I think I'll put a bow because I don't really have many flags left that actually work. Um, I need my meds and my coffee stickers. And I'm going to grab a laundry sticker as well because I hate writing the word laundry. It's so dragful. Uh, so I saw Tim mention the other day when I was um, in Melbourne. That was so funny. Best thing ever. If you can get a chance to see Tim Minchin at all on his like um, back tour, do it. It was absolutely hilarious. It was a really good mix of like old and new. You've got to check it out. It's so good. All right, I'm going to do that for a minute. Um, it's part of the Melbourne Comedy Festival. So if you get a chance to see it, see it. It's actually really, really good. I had an absolute blast. We got last minute tickets in Melbourne and it was fabulous. Like Terry had never seen it before. Terry's never seen Tim Mitchin before. He'd heard a little bit of his stuff, but he hadn't actually, like, sat down and actually, like, listened to him. Because, like, obviously, like, if you've seen Tim Mitchin before, he does, like, a live chat when he does his stuff. So, like, it's more of, like, a cabaret sort of style concert than anything else. Anyway, it was absolutely hilarious. I had a blast. Um, the people in front of me were probably going to be pissy at me, actually, because, you know, I was having such a good time. Which is one of those concerts that you go to, like, have a good old laugh and a, and a sing along almost. Alright, I'm just going to go stir the sauce, we we'll back. Okay, back to Tim Minchin. If you haven't heard who he is, um, he's an Australian musician and performer. He, um, he, oh, frig. Um, he worked on Matilda the Music, the reboot of Matilda the Musical. Um, anyway, absolutely hilarious. He came from Western Australia, so any Western Australians out there, you be proud of that boy. Um, yeah, really, really good musician, um, an all-round, like, performer. And, yeah, just really, really good to watch live. And, um, that's the second or the third time I've seen him live and just, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. We saw him at the Palais in St Kilda. That's where he's going to be. I think I think he's finished actually. But if you get a chance to catch up with him, I think he's still doing shows around the country. Do it. Worth the dollars. It's not actually that expensive for a... All things considered, it's, yeah, it's not actually that expensive. I think it was cost us just over $100 for stall tickets. So, worth the dollars. Yeah, very, very good show. I didn't put that down very well at all, did I? Um, yeah, had a great time. So, yes. Bang my bang light on that. It's probably just my neighbour. <laughs> um. I 
I really need to print myself some new stickers of these so they're not on white paper, but I can't be bothered. <sighs> Isn't that sad? I know I need to do it, but I just can't be bothered. Where did the little munchkins go? Who knows, peeps? Who knows? They were here somewhere. Now they're gone. I'll probably find them in a week. <laughs> One of those things that like turn up and you're not looking for them. Putting a bow in the top. <sighs> and I was having a play with these like full box overlays the other night. I'm sorry my laptop cord's in the way. There's like nowhere to put it now that my um oh, now that my like box now that my like pencil pots aren't there. I'm definitely putting the pie on the pie, even though it doesn't quite line up. I'm gonna try and make it line up. See, it always seems to be like there. Why didn't she make this line up? This is making my OCD problems. That looks so stupid, not lining up. Why could she not have made that to line up? Anyway, I'm leaving it there now because I can't get it back up. Um. I was gonna put that there, but now that doesn't work, so. See, these are my favourite overlays, so I think that one works better. I just can't be bothered getting any out of the folder. And when else am I going to use an apple? Seriously. That pie is so stupid, it would have made sense to line it up to begin with. Anyway, whatever, it's done now. That'll do. That will do, folks. Okie dokie. I'm missing so much from this. I just don't know what. What did I need to do on this one? Oh, that's right. New releases. I might just write that in because I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, I turned the source off, by the way. It's been on for two and a half hours. I'm going to turn it on later tonight before I finish it. Um, deco. What about these icons here? I haven't used these before. And large icons. Whoa! I haven't had them for a while. Hmm. Nothing that really takes my fancy. Got these little like dots down here as well. Yeah. Where's the deco gone? There it is. Alright, I'm gonna do the deco off camera and then come back. Alright, that's the deco pretty much done. I have to trim a couple of things, but that's pretty much it. That's it for this week. I'll obviously add lots more into it as I go. Um, weekend plans don't really exist because we sort of fly by the seat of our pants. Um, Terry's pretty much working, I'm going to say six, seven days a week at the moment because they've got a huge project on at work. So I'm going to be like... I don't know, hopefully printing and cutting stock like a mad woman because I've got a new printer by then. I'm really, really hopeful by now I have a new printer by the time you're watching this. Really, really, really hopeful. Um, let me know what you think down below. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you another time. Bye, guys.